you can use the mouse wheel in order to zoom in analysis. You can also use the keyboard ZO to zoom out and ZI to zoom in, or minus to zoom out and plus to zoom in. You can set whether the zoom should be centred on the mouse position or whether it should be centred on the middle of the spectrum display. Simply go to Project Preferences, or type Control or Command Comma, then go to the Spectrum tab and under Zoom Centre select Mouse or Screen. Under Manual Zoom you can also select the percentage by which the zoom goes up or down when you zoom using the keyboard. You can also do an area zoom if you hold down the shift key and then drag the mouse over a particular area. This will draw a yellow box and you will zoom in. If you want to go back to seeing the full spectrum you can press the maximize zoom button in the toolbar. You will notice that as I do an area zoom, the aspect ratio changes. You can also change the aspect ratio by using the mouse wheel on one of the axes. This effectively zooms selectively that one axis and in the process changes the aspect ratio. You can lock the aspect ratio by clicking on lock down in the bottom left hand corner. Note that if you now do an area zoom, you may well temporarily end up changing the aspect ratio. If you continue to zoom within the spectrum, that changed aspect ratio continues for a while until you zoom back on an axis and then you revert to your locked aspect ratio. You can also store various zoom levels. So for instance, you might like to store a nice convenient view of the full HSQC, simply click on store zoom in the toolbar or you can use the keyboard shortcut ZS. You can then change your zoom level and if you want to go back to the stored zoom level simply go to restore zoom or type ZR. You also have the option of moving through the different zoom levels that you've been using with Zoom Previous or Zoom Next. These also have keyboard shortcuts ZP for Zoom Previous and ZN for Zoom Next.